Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and today we are going to be unboxing a wrestling collector shop order. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. <laughs> Welcome back. Like I said, today we've got some wrestling collector shop figures. And um, again, this was from their eBay page. I bought a bunch of loose figures that I'm excited to unbox here. So I uh, won't waste too much time. I'll, I'll just get into it. All right. So it, it, I've got I've got a, a lot to say today. <laughs> um, I got, like I said, a bunch of loose figures. And when I get the loose figures, they come in just the plastic blister. There's no, they don't come with the box, but they come in that in the plastic that is in it. And they come with most of their accessories. If there's championship belts, they won't come with those. So that does most time don't care. Um, like with Seth Rollins, I, I got that one with the belt. It just depends. Anyway, um, first one I have here is the uh, Elite Ricochet 111. I think this is. So this one comes with the necklace the open hands and then it comes with this jacket so i think the jacket looks awesome i'm glad we've got double jointed arms for ricochet i think all my other ones have single jointed i didn't pick up the last one with the red yellow and black attire um i think this one looks good i know that we don't we don't love the 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 small kick pads like this don't love that but i actually think the way they did it looks pretty good um the issue here is the legs. Holy moly. So I can go out to this side. These are on ball joints too. I can't pick this leg up. I can pick this one up. This one will not go forward. And it's smudged on the right leg there. I don't know what the deal is with. So even like the, the thing has been, we want the ball joints on figures, not ratchet joints. And now we've got all these figures where I'm getting ball joints and they can't move because they're like, they're stuck. I don't know what, why that keeps happening. Um, I, I don't even know what else to, like it, it's it's throwing me off here. I'm frustrated, I'm, I'm annoyed because I don't understand why that's happening. With the legs here for Ricochet, like outside of this getting stuck, which I'm gonna like sand down that knee joint or the, the ball joint in the hip there. Um, it's just like this paint, the quality on the paint is not great. Like it's scratched on both sides. Just, a, it's, it's a very nice figure and I'll put the vest on. Let's see it with the vest and everything. It's just that like, like one of my, one of my general rules when I get a figure is that if it, if I have to force it, like if I get a figure uh, with like Marvel Legends or something where I'm not sure how it's supposed to articulate or I get a new figure, uh, Super 7 or something and I'm trying to articulate it and it won't go a certain direction, I assume it's because it's not supposed to. So I'm not gonna force a figure to pose if, it, if I can't get it to. When I get a figure like this with ball joints, like I know what it's supposed to do and I can't move it, it, it annoys me. Like. I can't move it forward so my assumption if I didn't have any other metallic figures would be that that's how it's supposed to be you just have that limited motion and like I know I have thousands of metal figures so um it, this is nothing new to me but the ball joints getting stuck and being just like like warped or mold I like I don't know exactly what the issue is in there I'll I'll, I'll pop the leg off if the heat doesn't work I'll sand it down a little bit but that's ridiculous to think that anyone else is going to do that so off my little rant here outside of just the, the being stuck there i think it looks very good i like this formula for ricochet the legs are smaller than his other elites so that brings his height to where i think it should be i think his other elites have been a little bit too tall um but overall um once i fix everything up i think this will be a very nice figure so moving on because we've got even more to discuss so next up we have the elite cody and I took him out of the box. I was trying to pose him and his leg fell off. So these are the pinless legs. I like these pinless legs for Cody. 
I think they look good. I like this white attire. Torso, arms, that's the normal Cody stuff we, bit, we get. This was just on ringside. They had uploaded a picture and I think mine doesn't look as bad as theirs did, but he does not have much of a neck. If you put it on and just don't pop it all the way down, I think that like I think this looks way better. Pose like that, whereas you pop it all the way down, he has no neck there. This one, I don't like this sculpt. The ultimate edition that they made for him, the the neck peg is a lot higher, so those figure those heads sit fine but the well then when you put them on elite they they don't have a neck this looks ridiculous this does not look good i, I don't like this head sculpt i just i'm annoyed with this with what we've got going on so looking in here it like slips in and there's like a little gap in there to go around so that could be it, like these could end up actually like heating it up. They could be really easy to swap around pieces if these are how they're supposed to be. Um, I have not tried it yet, but I'll see like if this piece will also just slide off if I heat it up. So I will do that. And I'd like to tell you it's a good figure, but it's just no, he's got no neck. The leg fell straight off. I don't know if this is quality or like it's just an accident. So I can't give much of an endorsement there when that's the figure that we're looking at. So um, in the box, it looks great. Good looking figure, good looking attire and everything. But as far as pulling that out loose and expecting to pose or play with it, I am highly disappointed. So I've got a few more, hopefully it's only up from here. So next up we have the Survivor Series Sami Zayn. And I do already have this figure, but I want to make an elite custom of Hayabusa. And instead of painting some legs, sanding and everything i figured i would just buy this red Sami Zayn, put some metallic paint on the pants and swap some parts around so that's what i'm gonna do i think sammy's figures are fine this one seems to be fine i'm gonna use this head actually for my old bloodline custom the black attire custom and then i'll find something to do with the arms and everything but this was pretty cheap on wrestling collectors um facebook page we're uh, snapping a little bit in the legs there but I'll find uses for all of these. I can use these hands for the CM Punk that came with the wrong colored hand. But I'm not gonna go through everything with Sammy here. I've got this figure, it's been out a while. Just picked it up as an extra, so moving on. Next up, we have the Elite Trish Stratus. And this is another one they had super cheap. So I decided to finally pick it up. Um, I wasn't dying for a new Trish, honestly, um, but I'm happy with it. I think it, like the, I like the fur coat, the soft goods coat here. I think that looks good. So then everything else, the arms are, are really stiff, which is not uncommon with the women's figures, especially. And we've like, we've got pinless that that's nothing new it's i'm not shocked by it not excusing it but I, you know you halfway expect it at this point we get we've got the open hand the pointing hand i think this is a pretty decent sculpt for trish i think the likeness is there maybe not perfect but i think it it gets the job done i don't know when this specific attire is from some point when she was a heel and feuding with becky Maybe from their Hell in a Cell match. The cowboy hat here, a little bit to it. Not just a normal hat, they've got the headband, I guess, on there. I'm not gonna talk a lot about Trish, I think it's fine. It's not bad, I know some people, I've seen complain about the scaling. She's, she's very short, which she is very short. Um, I had someone compare her I, I, or, no, I saw it on Facebook, I think they had like her, Rhea Ripley, Becky pose next to an Eric Bischoff figure and the Bischoff figure like towers over all of them and he's only like 5'10", so the scaling is a little bit weird with the women's figures, it's not perfect and I know they like redid it, so it's a little off as well and especially like you just make that midline, um, well I guess Mattel at this point they're not like mid any line, they've got a ton of stuff going on but I don't hate that they're making the change. It's just, it's when you do that, you've got to 
kind of scrap some stuff you've already got and then you're moving like you got to get the new one so that they're all on the same scale so hopefully we will just see it continue i think the an elite natalia was one of the first ones we saw that was a little bit shorter and um from there they've just been making them um just a little smaller in general so trish is fine but we've got one more to take a look at before we wrap it up all right, so our last one here is going to be the Ultimate Edition Kevin Owens. And I know I've, I've, I've seen people talk about the height difference between him and the Sammy. I did not pick up Sammy. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know. I like. I feel like the Kevin Owens is the right height. He's not tall at all. I think he's listed at like 5'10". Um, but the Sammy, I think, is, is way too tall. I think they just, with the Ultimate Torso, made him... Too, it made him too tall. <laughs> that that's that. Um, I think that Owens looks good here. He does have the smaller arms instead of the larger arms we've seen before on his elites. Um, believe he has drop down hips. Yeah, a, a little bit. They don't really drop down, which I've talked about. Don't love drop down hips, so not a deal breaker for me. We've got this nice stretchy shirt with the with no velcro or anything. I think it looks very good. So, you know, I think I'm ending on a positive note here. I'm pretty happy with that. Here are a couple open hands. Kevin. The fisted hands as well. We've got the letters. Got the tattoos on all of those. And then I think this sculpt is new. And we've got this yelling one. I think this looks good. For a yelling sculpt, though, it's not quite as, like, fierce. I wish his brow was a little more, uh, uh, intense. Furled? Is that the word I'm looking for? He just looks like he's, like, singing. He looks like he's singing a song at a bar with his friends. And then this sculpt, I think we've gotten before. But it looks good. And we're not gonna do a deep dive into it. I just, I think it looks good. I'm happy with that KO. Maybe I'll get that Sammy to match it and fix it up, make it a little shorter, but that is going to be everything. So we'll get Ricochet back here. We've got Headless Sammy. Even this Sammy, I don't know, might be a little tall. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's not tall. There we go. And Trish here. And then that last one was uh, her busted Cody. So we'll fix that up. Maybe, maybe I'll torso the crack the torso and give him a. And we'll just not happening. We'll just put him there. Maybe I'll crack the torso. Give him a bigger neck peg. Fix that up. Really, it's it's a great looking figure. Just some small things that I can handle fixing, but um, that is it. That's today's unboxing. It was a, an odd one. One I was excited for and feel like I, I paid 40% off for all of these. So it was a very cheap order, free shipping, but man, I just feel a little let down. So let's move on. I'll find some, I'll, next unboxing should be a better one. Anyway, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you. Please continue to like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy more action figures. Figure dude out.